Mr Speaker, it doesn't seem right that there are no ministers taking calls in this debate oh, from order. the National Party. And it's certainly not right that the member parades that as a point of order. That's not right either. Maggie Barry. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, the member who's just resumed his seat and uh, had took a call on this, uh, we need to put in context his contribution. He was so successful in his previous role, he was what? The lowest polling mayoral candidate uh, below everybody else, nor was he elected uh, for the local health board. So when we look at his authority, when we look at his ability to actually convince the people of the North Shore of his enormous knowledge of local body politics, his enormous authority, he failed utterly and dismally. Let the record stand. This is not the kind of man that people listen to or believe in, and that was proved on the North Shore. So he's hardly an authority. I think when you look at what this bill is trying to do, others have outlined its provisions, and it's very much about the ratepayers and about the extraordinary amount of extra spending that has come in since 2002. We campaigned consistently against it, and we will continue to because of the extraordinary amount of extra spending that has come into effect since the four well-beings came in. In the past 10 years, council debt has quadrupled from 2 billion to 8 billion. And council rates have gone up on average uh, by a very large amount indeed, 7% a year, far outstripping inflation. This has to stop. The ratepayers of New Zealand deserve better, and this government is going to deliver these reforms. They will be able to make councils more fiscally responsible. They will strengthen council governance provisions and streamline council reorganisation processes. This is not a difficult concept to grasp. Um, I believe that many of the councils and local authorities are doing a good job and will do an even better job once these go through. I must say too, it's irresistible really, uh, that when I looked at uh, the, the phrases tripping from the lips of the member for Te Atatū, I thought, shallow popularism, oh really? Something he knows a great deal about. Pretending to make a difference, also an area of expertise. Uh, perhaps when Phil Twyford is no longer the member for Te Atatū, he can pursue a career on the stage, because he certainly does a very convincing line in faux outrage. Mr Speaker, I commend this bill to the House. Thank you. Grant Robertson. Speaker, there was some controversy earlier in the local government uh, bill process.